something like that. That's what this lesson sounds like. Uh, I like to show it real quick so you know what you're getting into. It's an arrangement of satisfaction by the stones in the key of E. I'm in standard tuning. And in the links below, you can see the whole performance of it if you want to a video I made. Uh, so you gotta know how to play an E chord, standard E, an A chord, and a B7. I play all my A's barred like this in this video, and I play all my B7s without the high F sharp on the E string. E, A, B, 7. So the first part of the song, the main Keith Richards hook is the hardest part. You gotta know how to play octaves. Octaves means you play the same note to an octave apart. Fifth string, second fret, there's a B. And also, fourth fret, third string, there's a B. So those are so B octaves. And what I'm doing is I'm playing the low E string open, there's octaves. And then the other three strings, I'm muting. So it's like, open E string, B, mute the D string, play the octave, and then mute the high string, so. It's the hardest part, probably. You gotta play this part, and if you slide that shape up two frets to the C sharp, it's still just. Octaves of the low E, C sharp octaves of the low E, D, slide up one more to the fifth fret. So this is what you gotta learn for the arrangement. Low E string open octaves, and then you can mix the rhythm in. and the muted string. So practice that. That's the first part. Get your own version of the rhythm down. And then the verse is easy. It's just E. I can't get no A. Satisfaction. Repeat. E. I can't get no A. Satisfaction. It changes to E. I've tried B7. I've tried back to E. here is we're taking that melody from the intro and we're moving it. We're not playing octaves, we're just playing it on the second B string. Open B string, second string, second fret, third fret, second fret. So it's like... But you're playing it with the chord. So you got an E chord. And then you add that. C sharp. So it's like a E6. And then you go to the A chord with the D. So I'm playing my A like this. And I'm just muting the high string. But you can also play your A like this. Play your standard cowboy A and then move the D string. But this is a little tricky too. You play an E and then add this C sharp and then A. Add this C sharp, go up to A with the D and then pull the D off. So it's that same hook from the opening part, but instead of playing it in the octaves, I'm playing it with the chords. And this is that whole section. When I'm driving in my car, and the man comes on and tells me how white my shins can be. But it can't be a man cause it doesn't Between that section, I just mute all the strings. Hey, 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 just cover them all up. And then back to the. And I think I do a little uh, ending lick, lick on my version that goes C sharp, just straight up C sharp, D, 
fourth, fifth, sixth, E, and then end on that E6. First section. Oh, I know that was fast, but you can slow these down on your YouTube player. I hate it when tutorials are too slow. So I hope this helps. Uh, I had a lot of fun uh, making up this arrangement. Leave me a comment if you like it. Uh, thanks, bye.